the raw emotion of losing so many spectacular people uh, and just ripping apart your insides um, is just a different feeling for us, the people who knew it, the people who saw it. And, you know, just being on today and trying to remind everybody, all the young people, that this that this matters, that you, uh, you know, Cantor Fitzgerald rebuilt its company to take care of the families that we lost. The people don't think about business that way. But you sit next to people more than you spend time with your family, and you will love them. You actually love them. You might not say it, but in your heart you love them. And if they all were lost, I mean, think of how your insides would be ripped up. And that's what Cantor Fitzgerald knows, and that's why Cantor Fitzgerald runs a charity day. All these people behind us, they're all giving up their pay today. We're doing as much business as we can, and we're going to raise hopefully $12 million for charity today. You know, in the aftermath uh, and days after, uh, you, you set up this um, charity uh, with your sister, uh, who I remember used to go from funeral to funeral. Um, speak about, about that experience and, and, and what it meant, and in terms of thinking about how to recreate a business um, in, in, in the aftermath of, 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 the, of those months. So we, we had a call on the evening of the 11th where I said, look, we, ha we have two choices. We can, we can shut the firm down and we can go to our friends' funerals. Because imagine 20 funerals a day every day for 35 straight days. I mean, I had my best friend and my other best friend's brother-in-law were buried at the same exact minute and we couldn't even go to their funeral. So it was going to be so destructive or we were going to have to pull together and we were going to have to work harder than we've ever worked in our whole lives. And who wants to work that day? But the key is we're going to do it to take care of our friends' families. And we all committed 25 percent of everything we made, not just our profits, but our salaries. All of our money would go to the families of those we lost. And we ended up giving them $180 million from Cantor Fitzgerald. We, we paid for their health care for 10 years. And we created a bond with these families that last till today. And the, the proudest thing I can say is we are now employing the children of people we lost that day. I mean, think of what a compliment that is to Cantor Fitzgerald and our business here, that, that young people who lost their, their father or their mother would want to come work at the firm. Isn't that, isn't that just, just amazing? What do you think? Is there a personal lesson in all of this for you on, on a very personal basis? Not even, uh, not, I'm not talking about business. I'm just, I'm just saying as you've now thought about this with, unfortunately, 20 years of perspective, well, I, I think what happened is uh, your leopards don't change their spots. They just get really brighter. So you saw people who were nice people become saints. And people who were a little jerky became way off, the, way off the spectrum. But, you know, so what happened is we were a, a philanthropic company to begin with. So we just exploded that value. And, and the thing for me, what, what's changed for me is I, I like being partners with more people, with more companies, with working together. Before, Cantor Fitzgerald was sort of winning on its own, doing its own thing. And now we're really happy to be part of the bigger crowd, to work together with other firms, to, to build a great business together. We do it with our employees. Our employees are owners of the company. They're partners with us. It's just a collective event. And, and what I've learned is that you can't be great unless you all stand on shoulders together. And I think that's what Cantor Fitzgerald's learned. We built our company from losing 658 of our 960 employees. We now have almost 5,000 people in New York and 12,000 people around the world. We have a great health care practice. We have a great SPAC practice. You know, we have a public company called BGC Partners. That's amazing. You know, we built all these things really together with employees who wanted to give back, who came and joined this company to help the families of those we lost. So I think there's a piece inside of you who knows what it's like to be a great human being. And when things like this just rip you apart, if you grab that piece of yourself and just drive yourself to be a really good human being, it's in everybody. It's in all these people behind us. I mean, look right. at them. They're all working their tails off, and they're not making any money today to give it away. And that's, these are amazing people. Amazing.